this is Greg Rakestraw, and you're watching the UND Experience. We're doing this once a month from the Donatos at Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Kathy Casey's team might be as deep as ever when it comes to cross country at UND this season. 20 talented men's runners and 16 on the women's side. And I know that over the last couple of years in talking with you for this video, you know, the, the guys' team has been kind of developing. The women's team has been a little bit ahead. The guys' team has been uh, kind of getting better year by year. Is it now kind of their time to spring forward and, and take charge here? No, well, it could be. I am likening the men that I have this year to the 2000 team. Just the integrity and the perseverance and passion for the sport. Mm -hmm. And you have a group of guys who works really well together who have put in a heck of a lot of work over the summer and now they're going to see the fruits of their labor there. So on either the men's or the women's side, are you do you feel like there's competition for spots almost every day, every training run? Um, yes, especially on the guy side at this point because we're pretty deep and there's some pretty comparable people. Um, Alex Cushman, who's a returnee from Norwell, he's a beast. <laughs> but uh, then I've got Jake Fisher and Craig Jordan who are going to test him, you know, stride for stride. Um, then I have Sean O'Brien, Ben McMillan, and my own son Cameron Casey and Joel Keller who are. Probably the four of them are pretty comparable, so you have a pack of kids who's going to beat each other up practice by practice, meet by meet. So, I mean, it just keeps going back where you just have groups of kids that are going to pound it out and they, they want to be the varsity seven. So. What's, what's kind of the, the, the goals for both the women's and men's teams? What's going to make this a good year? Oh, this is going to be a fantastic year. I think really the guys can look at vying for another conference championship. Um, if not, they're in the top two teams. Ladies, top three teams. Um, again, they're going to push the envelope as well. I got a huge group. If you looked at our results from the next, the last meet, I got a Sutton Knapp up front who is pushing the envelope of greatness this year. She's really coming into her own with a lot of confidence. And then I have six girls or better who are are just in this clump moving as a group and um, that helps in cross country when you have a pack of people sure. who come in together they just need to close the gap between one and them. <laughs> I know in talking with Coach Casey, she talks about the depth in the program. 20 runners on the, on the men's side, 16 runners on the women's side. How does that translate to success uh, once it comes to, to meet time during the weekend? Well, there's, there's always somebody to run with when you have that many girls. And we tend to kind of run in packs, which is always encouraging. It's always nice to have teammates to run with, to look for in races. It's always better than being out on your own. So being a senior, what's this like knowing this is the final go-around for you? It's it's a little sad, it's, <laughs> but I mean, I'm going to make the best of it. It's It'll be a little surreal sure. when it's over. haven't quite started thinking about that yet, but it's good. Congratulations on you guys winning the meet down in Cincinnati. What a great way to start off the 2013 season. Thank you very much. Yeah, we went pretty hard and uh, really impressed our coaching staff and showed the freshmen how to get it done. What, what, what kind of, I guess what was the key? What made that meet such a success for you? How did you get to that top spot? Our team camp, we, we had the hardest team camp that I've had since I've been going here. We went down to Eva, Tennessee, and we had a hill workout that no one will forget. <laughs> and uh, we just started off real strong from the start. So team camp, and then we have a lot of leadership, a lot of upperclassmen. And so we kind of pull that group up with us. And we got two distinct packs to run with us in the meets. So uh, I would say overall leadership is what's really done it so far. What's it like having 20 student athletes on the cross country team? What sort of competition does that foster every day in practice? Well, if it, running is on and off. Some days you can have a great day and other days you can't. And it helps to have that 15th, 16th, 17th person on that team. They could be having that good day to pull you through. And uh, yeah, it's just anybody can be ready to go on a certain day. And so having good team camaraderie is a huge portion of the UND Greyhounds. And when you're down and out, somebody can help you out, and that's that's what really helps a lot. Kind of the, the senior aspect of it, if you will. Last go around for you. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's kind of sad, but it's also exciting. We um, we've been working really hard, and we just want to make it our best season. 
what's this uh, what's this year going to what how is this year going to be a good year for you? What's kind of the goals that you have set for yourself and for this team this season? We want to be conference champions. Mm -hmm. We've got our eye out on a the big schools like USI and Bellarmine, they were always our biggest competition. And those schools that sneak in there too, we try to, we're keeping our eye out for them. Congratulations to you and the team on, on the meet victory this weekend. Your thoughts about what made that such a good event for you and your teammates? Um, I think the really important thing that came from this weekend wasn't just the win, it was how we went, won. We PR'd, everybody had an outstanding meet and you could tell when we finally got that you know first place team trophy or we all came together and knew what we ran we started to believe believe what we could do this season I mean it was an outstanding impressive performance I don't think any of the other teams that competed there saw that coming so that was really great for us all right tell us how things are going for you in the classroom Things are tough. Um, I'm starting to hit the real hard classes now, um, but I'm, I'm keeping pace. It's been a little bit of a transition to get these hard major classes in, but I think I'm doing all right. As always, thanks to great folks at Donato's for hosting us for the UND Experience, located on the corner of Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Of course, you can watch these features as many times as you'd like by going to the official athletic website of the University of Indianapolis, athletics.und.edu, where you can follow all 21 of UND's intercollegiate athletics programs.